Hi, welcome to exercise eight, user input variables, string and numbers. What you see in front of you right now is the program um, for exercise seven, where we had a user input their name. This time, we also want them to input the mark they'd like to get in this course. So what I am going to do is create a new variable called mark and I am going to give it the default value of zero so that it has a, um, a value of some kind. Okay, now I am going to do a text window right line. Okay, and notice that I'm leaving the space. So what I'm going to do now is mark equals text window dot read just like we did um, with the other one. And I am going to leave that blank and then Okay, text window, text window right line. And again, open the brackets, open the quotes. And again, leaving a space, concatenate it, um, enter the mark. Okay, because that's our variable. And then let's run it. Okay, there is something that I did wrong um, here. Oops, I left a space between the text window and the right line so it wouldn't do what I wanted it to do because it didn't recognize the command. And you'll notice the error message that appeared and I could immediately go and see what line and what space on the line I had messed up on, fix it, and then rerun the program. So we're gonna enter the name and I am going to enter a mark and there you go. That's how you create user input with both string and numerical variables.